I'm looking around, I'm trying to think, what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture? I can point out about 10 million things, and they all have two feet and they're walking around. Hi, I'm Veronica Moss. I just got back from a year in Washington lobbying for cars, and uh, here I am about to experience Times Square for the first time since the experiment. More of a Frankenstein monster kind of experiment. So I'm very nervous, and I have my Lincoln Nav in parking garage, so I've got a getaway car in case things get too hectic. What is this? Where are the ropes? I'm literally going to barf. I'm barfing. They made it a place where you can relax. And in America, we don't relax. You know, some people that would have, would have not been able to walk down the very, very crowded, narrow sidewalks um, can now just populate the space. It's a dog. There's a dog in Times Square. It's wearing a sweatshirt. The dog is wearing a sweatshirt. Why is the dog wearing a hooded sweatshirt? There's no place for that. What are your old fond memories of Times Square? That's an easy one. Um, I was once in the land bought my Hummer, and I was, uh, I had gone grocery shopping to the Fairway Market on 72nd, and I just was driving through, and I was, I was on the road, and I, I had to wait for about 20 minutes to move, you know, like five feet, and there was a moment of zen, of thinking, this is what it's all about. Going from one place to the other, no matter how long it takes. I love the sight of this. This is what I love. I love the huge black van. I love all of the taxis, probably driving people to probably the same place, uh, but they're all going, you know? I love the bus. I would never go on one, but I love the bus. Look at this guy on his bike. Look at this bike. What, who does he think he is? A Prius? No, he doesn't belong. Look at, the, look at that. That's a car. That's a beautiful uh, American car that just wants to get where it's going. And these people, the neon traffic cops, telling the people they can go. The cars are obviously very distressed. I see in them signs of, of corrosion, of, uh, of really being tired, of just wanting to be able to, to be free. Do you know who sat in that chair? A thousand butts. That's just that much. We've got riffraff from the four corners, from all of the rings of Dante's hell, just sitting for free. They're not going to Madame Tussauds. They're not paying $25 to stand with a wax statue of Samuel L. Jackson. They are sitting and having a coffee without having to tip anyone. And that's bullshit. Everyone should, should live and let live in their cars. It's that simple.